Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, about activity dependencies. Um, so in uh, SSIS, if you guys remember that uh, we have these uh, different type of uh, presence constraints and uh, we have on success, on failure, and uh, then we are able to write some expressions uh, and uh, handle those uh, situation if the next activity need to run uh, depending on the previous uh, execution. Uh, uh, results uh, of uh, the previous task. Um, but uh, in the Azure Data Factory, we have something like that. Uh, we can handle uh, the next activity uh, and depending on the you know status of, uh, of uh, execution of a previous activity. And uh, that can be successful, that can be on failure, on completion, and skipped. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so I am going to create a new pipeline here and uh, in this pipeline. So let's uh, click right there. And uh, here we go and create a new pipeline. And in this pipeline, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the data from a database. Um, so I'm going to use a lookup transformation uh, and uh, read some data. Now, what we will do, depending upon the execution of this, uh, we'll handle the next activities. Um, so in the lookup, uh, I'm going to make a connection. Uh, and uh, let me use the data source here, Azure Data SQL right there. And uh, now I already have created a link service also. Anyways, let me go ahead and create one for you so you would know that. So select the uh, subscription, select your server, select your database, uh, and then uh, you will provide a name, and then uh, you are gonna do the password. So this is my Azure DB, okay? So our data set is ready, and uh, now what we can do here, I'm gonna click okay and uh, write a query here. So when I need to kind of mess up with the query and make this guy fail, I can do that. So I'm going to say select, I have this table right here, that is a select ID from total sale table. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now there are multiple ways to fail these type of queries. So I'm gonna show you select ID from total sale table, right? So we got that in the, this should be just a completing successful. We have a one row return because I have clicked on first row only. So I can go ahead and actually return more records uh, so you can see it is working fine. Now, if this activity completes, uh, let me say I want to run another activity that's a wait. Uh, so on this wait, uh, I am going to get this uh, click here. And then you have, see, uh, add activity on the success, failure, completion, and skipped. So we are going to go one by one. So let's go to success. So hit our success here. And now we are going to connect right there. Okay, so if lookup uh, completes, uh, and I'm gonna just uh, give me get uh, IDs from sale table. Okay, so that's what the lookup is doing. Now, if this completes, uh, what we want to do, we wanna run this one, and uh, we I'm gonna name this one on success only. Okay, and uh, you can go ahead and execute. Now, what's gonna happen? Uh, the lookup is gonna be able to get the record, uh, and. Uh, uh, complete successfully, then uh, this activity should run just fine. So let me refresh, and you can see that uh, this activity did run. You can see right there, okay? They both ran actually successful. Now, let's do another scenario where uh, if a lookup fails, um, so maybe we wanna send an email. I'm not gonna use the email here. I'm gonna use another wait activity for the testing purpose. And uh, I'm gonna, I can rename this one. Hey, uh, I will send failure email. Okay, just uh, think about that, that you are using some activity, maybe a stored procedure or logic apps and all that, and you are sending an email, but you would like to do on the failure. So see right there, it new um, tab pop up, and uh, we are gonna connect that. Now, if this lookup fails, then uh, this part will be executed. Okay, so let's go back here and uh, let's uh, fail our lookup. So instead of ID, I'm gonna say ID one. So now there is no ID one column there. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna fail. And uh, as you can see that uh, our uh, lookup uh, uh, did fail because the column does not exist. Uh, you can right click here, sorry, you can click there and see that, uh, uh, you see it's in column invalid column name. So it failed and you can see that uh, this is activity that uh, got completed. So on failure you might wanna truncate a table or send an email or something like that, that is happening right here, okay? So we did the two tests here. One is the on success, this is what will run on error uh, or failure of this activity, this will run. Now there would be another scenario in uh, actually SSIS as well, we have is called on completion. So I'm gonna grab another uh, for each loop, uh, sorry, wait activity here, and I'm going to name run on completion, okay? 
So it doesn't matter you, the previous uh, statement, uh, sorry, previous activity fails or success, it doesn't matter, this activity will always run, okay? So I'm gonna say always run, okay? So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna click right there and say completion. So you see this light uh, blue color uh, tab appeared here, you're gonna connect that. So this is how they are connected. Now, what happened? Right there. Okay, so let's debug. And in this case, as our um, activity, this activity is failing. So it's gonna run this way, guy on fail, and this is gonna run this one because we also said that completion, that does not mean has to be always successful, right? So it can be fail or it can be successful. So you see that it failed and then it ran this uh, wait uh, activity that was supposed to run on the failure see the red arrow here and that this was also supposed to run because it doesn't matter it is a successful or failure it is always going to run on completion of this so it got completed now i can go ahead and fix that and in this case if i fix it what will happen now this will run success and completion there would be no failure because we are completing our lookup activity as a successful activity so this is this really gave a lot of uh, freedom uh, to control the flow and uh, correct your uh, uh, errors and uh, send an emails and all those kind of things. So you see right there, the lookup got completed successful. And now the this uh, successful part also got completed. This is the second activity that was supposed to be completed on success. And there is one activity that was supposed to run, finish uh, on completion, it doesn't matter the success or failure, so it got completed as well. So you see that. Okay, so now you understand that this uh, on failure, on success, and uh, on completion. There is a last one, what we see right there is called the skipped, okay? So let me put that way. Uh, I'm gonna bring this guy here. So let's say we call this uh, another activity on only success. So uh, I'm going to use another weight here and uh, think uh, I we use this uh, let me put on top so you see right there okay so this activity we always run on success I'm going to connect the success part to it so on success uh, this guy runs and this guy runs now if success happened this is going to run right if failure happened this is not going to run now in the skip to what happened if uh, you skip this activity then the next activity will uh, run now what will happen we are going to go and bring another activity here and then we will do the weight here. So let me wait, bring a weight activity here. And now I'm gonna connect this guy, hold on one second. So right there and it says skipped. So see this grid tab is appearing and I'm gonna hit this one. So now what's going to happen here, this activity, if this activity will complete successful, it's gonna come here and then it is gonna run this and uh, then it's not going to run this one because it did not skip this activity. Once this activity will skip, then it's gonna run. So that's the only option uh, in case of failure, what will happen? This uh, activity will be skipped, right? And then and this will run, okay? So it is uh, when the activity is skipped, then it will run okay so now let's go ahead and execute now as we are successful what we are going to see so on success uh, this is uh, going to run uh, this guy okay because uh, on success uh, this is supposed to run and then uh, on completion this is going to run doesn't matter the previous uh, activity output is a failure or success is going to run on completion and then uh, it's going to run uh, this guy and uh, it's not uh, running this one see right there did not run the skipped one because this guy executed successful. It did not got skipped. Now, to run this guy in that scenario, if I need to run this, uh, so we have to go to the uh, right here in the lookup. Uh, and now, what's going to happen uh, if I execute uh, now? Now, on failure, uh, there are a few things uh, that's going to run, right? So, on failure, our this guy is going to run and this is going to run on completion. Now this part will not be run, right? So that will uh, mark this guy like, oh, this activity did not run, so it will it got skipped, right? So then it will run this one. Okay, so let's uh, go to the output and uh, see right there. So in this case, uh, you can see right there, um, our 
failure, activity got executed successfully, then our completion got successfully, and at this fail, so this guy got skipped, and this got successful. So you understand uh, the logic uh, here, I hope uh, makes sense to you. In cases of these types of scenarios, uh, you can use uh, on, on, uh, on success, on failure, on completion, and then finally you have on skip uh, when this type of activity will be skipped and then next has to be run, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you learned something out of it. I will see you guys in the next video. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel.